Hey everybody, it's Brad with the Big Family Homestead, and in this very short video, I'm going to show you an easy way to make vinegar at home. This is not the who's it's and what's it's and all the science behind it on how it works and all that yada yada and yippee skippy. We'll save some of that for after the video, but it's only going to take me about 45 seconds, maybe 50 seconds to show you exactly how to make vinegar at home. So here we go. First things first, I like to get a half gallon glass jar. We're going to fill that jar with one cup of cane sugar, organic cane sugar. Then you're going to take one quart of warm water and you're going to fill this jar up with whatever fruit of your choosing. In this case, I'm using orange peels. You could use apple peels, rinds. You could mix and match to make your own mad science experiments, but you're going to go ahead and fill that up, top it off. Then you're going to cap it. And then you're going to shake, 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 shake it. You're going to dissolve that sugar. You don't have to be crazy accurate with it all gone, but just dissolve it basically. Then you're going to take the top back off, put a loose rag on top with a rubber band, and you are pretty much done. Now, all you do is leave that sit in a warm spot. It doesn't have to be hot. doesn't have to be cold. Just warmish spot in the house for 30 days, and you have vinegar. You strain that stuff off. You get all the, the goop and all the peels and the yada, yada, and you be skippy. But then you just put it in a clean jar, and you now have vinegar. There you have it. Now, I have included on the end of this video, in just a brief moment, some of the many uses for vinegar. Now, they're great things, disinfectants, you can use them for all kind of stuff around the house, and there's really no reason why you should be paying as much money as we pay in the grocery store for vinegar. I mean, think about it. The only real expense is honestly the cost of the sugar, because you know, you use the, the fruit peelings of whatever you were going to throw away or use up anyhow. So it's super, super cheap, super easy to do. And, uh, well, there it is. I hope you, uh, don't forget to like, and subscribe and, um, well, enjoy the videos. I'm Brad with the big family homestead. Check this out. Hi everybody, it's Brad with Big Family Homestead, and in this video I have six cool things to share with you that you can do with regular old vinegar. So let's get cracking. Now regular old household vinegar and apple cider vinegar have just tons and tons and tons of uses. And um, this video is basically six of the ones that I've picked out that I found interesting or unusual or ones that most people may have not heard. So I'm going to share these with you. But before I do, I would like to ask you that if you have a cool use for vinegar that is not in this list or is not like a commonly known one, please put it down in the comments section. I'd love to hear what your suggestions are. And uh, so there you have it. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It greatly helps me out. So anyway, without further ado, the first one use for vinegar that is really cool and interesting and yada yada yippee skippy is a copper polish. Yep, you can use regular old white vinegar, you know, one to one ratio mixed with salt as a, like a little paste. And you can take that and use it to uh, polish up copper or brass, you just rub it on there, rub it on there, and it will come clean, clean it off with the water, dry it off, and you are off to the races. You can use regular white vinegar just straight out of the bottle to clean off your dirty windshield wipers. That's right, when they start getting all mucky and, and it, it, it makes that nasty haze on your windshield, it's time to clean those wiper blades. So all you gotta do is get out a cloth, pour some of that stuff on there and rub them down real good and you will have squeaky clean windshield wiper blades. Another cool use for vinegar, white vinegar, is you can use it to clean out your nasty, scuzzy, gross microwave oven. Yeah, you basically just take a nice little bowl, you put one cup of regular water in there and one quarter cup of vinegar you put that sucker on high for five minutes and all that steam's gonna come in there and it's gonna mix with the vinegar and it's gonna make all that caked on yucky food easy to wipe off. And the vinegar also acts as a disinfectant too. So how cool is that? Easy to do. And uh, well, you don't have to clean your house with nasty wasty chemicals. You can do it with vinegar. 
Now with apple cider vinegar, you can make a really cool gnat or fruit fly trap. That's all, you, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. All you do is just get a regular old mason jar or plastic, you know, even a two liter jug, whatever you've got laying around. You pour some uh, apple cider vinegar in there and you poke a few holes in the top of the lid or the bottle and those suckers will go in there and they will drown and you will be much happier because those pests will not be in your house any longer, hallelujah. Now this next use for vinegar is not widely known and I think this one's pretty cool. Basically, when you get a bruise, let's say you take a tumble or you ram your arm into something or whatever and you've got a bruise on your body, you can take some apple cider vinegar, dab it in a, a gauze or even a cotton ball and, and put it onto your skin where it's affected with some tape and it will speed up the healing of that bruise many, many, many times faster. So how cool is that? And lastly, but not leastly, at least on this list, is you can use regular old white vinegar to clean off that nasty, dirty, all grimied up shower head. Yeah, you basically just take a regular old plastic bag and you pour some vinegar in it and you fix it around the shower head, make sure that it's completely submerged, and in a couple hours you're gonna have a squeaky clean shower head without using harsh, nasty, and expensive chemicals. So bam, that just happened. So there you have it, party people of YouTube. Six cool uses for vinegar. Please don't forget to put the ones that you may uh, know of that I didn't know of that are cool uses down in the comments section. Also, please don't forget to subscribe. I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead, and you guys have an amazing day.